Fondazione Creatività is the public cultural entity that runs the National Center for Creativity in Malta. Its main concern is Spatio Creativ in Valletta, which presents a regular program of activities that includes art exhibitions, sometimes from the organization's permanent collection. Within the Fondazione Creativita art collection, there is a special place for ceramic works. More precisely, through a long-standing working relationship with the artist Gabriel Caruana, the organization has come to appreciate the legacy of his ceramic works. Interestingly, however, through Gabriel Caruana, we have also grown to appreciate non-ceramic works by artists working within the same ethos. The only work in the Fondazione Creativita collection by Gabriel Caruana is the one you see here. This is evidently not ceramic. The technique used in this piece is grog, ground bisque fired clay added to a clay body to make it rough and then fired again. Its application onto wood gives this work of art a unique quality to treasure in the collection. So much so that it is exhibited permanently within St. James Cavalier, the historic building where Fondazione Creativita is based. The ceramic work of the British artist Zell Osborne can also be found in this collection. This piece was created in 1993 and entered the collection in 2004 following an exhibition at the St. James Cavalier Center for Creativity. Caruana's work with modern ceramics had prepared audiences in Malta for this type of aesthetic many years earlier. This is most evident not only in his own work but also in that of other artists who started out working with him at the Tarja Gap school studio. This is where Sina Faruja started her artistic career. The work you see here by Faruja came to the Fondazione Creativita collection in 2002 from her exhibition Merkaba. Other than the vibrant colors, this ceramic work is distinctive in its femininity. Faruja is a pioneer in presenting such imagery on the art scene in Malta at the turn of the century. When Gabriel Caruana retired in the 1990s, the Tarja Gap school studio was led by another one of his protégés. Tony Briffa was among the first to move beyond the ceramic techniques acquired from the master. This much is evident from this work. It was created by Briffa in Denmark and first exhibited during recollection at Spazio Creativ in Valletta in 2016. When Briffa moved permanently from Malta to Denmark, another former student of Gabriel Caruana took over the Tarja Gap school studio. George Muscat has exhibited his ceramics at St. James Cavalier multiple times. Here you see a pair of plates acquired for the collection in 2013 from his exhibition Forces. These are not the only plates in the Fondazione Creativita art collection. Victor Ajus has produced several plates over the years, along with his large-scale works. After a rather dark patch in his career in 2017, Sponti Creative presented his exhibition Consume. These plates are a token from that exhibition, highlighting the plight of Maltese contemporary artists to get their work appreciated more broadly by the public in Malta. Another contemporary artist who has shared this struggle with Ajus is Enrique Tabone, whose medium of choice is plexiglass. Both artists are no strangers to Buongiorno Ceramica, as their work has been presented by the Gabriel Caruana Foundation in recent years. All the works shown in this video were exhibited altogether at Spazio Creative in Valletta in 2019, along with others from the Fondazione Creativita art collection. If you would like to discover more, visit the website at creativita.org.